My name is Adriana and I'm a lecturer in the School of Languages and Cultures and I teach first year Spanish and also second year Spanish. So that's our students that are beginning with the language and also um, somewhere in the middle. Uh, so what we've done with Padlet in these courses that I coordinate is um, integrated as an individual Padlet for each student, which the teacher that teaches um, each group has access to those individual Padlets that are created using a bulk um, create um, strategy that I was um, able to use with the help of the e-learning advisors at Italy. Uh, once we've integrated this um, tool in our Blackboard course, uh, the place that the Padlet um, has is that of uh, course engagement. So the student every week uh, has to post something related to the course and how they're engaging with the content. It's completely private. It really provides an opportunity for the students to um, talk about their own interests, their own concerns, and for the teacher to provide individual feedback based on those um, posts. The journey that we've gone um, through uh, with Padlet this year is that in semester one, this Padlet was um, a very low stakes assessment task. Uh, and in semester two, we've increased a little bit um, that the weight of the Padlet as a course engagement tool by adding weekly prompts. So while in semester one, we allowed students to post on pretty much anything that they felt they were relating to in the course in semester two, we actually asked them to experiment with various types of posts from videos to audio files to uh, text and pictures. Um, so it's really created a space in which uh, the student feels confident and um, able to share uh, with the teacher, their own journey and progress uh, with the language. So using this tool um, by the end of the semester uh, really has allowed the students to look back and look at their progress from week one to week 13, what they've been able to achieve. 